Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George from Movie Misfit and today I'm going to take a look at the five film box set of Shaw Brothers movies released on Blu-ray from German label Koch Media. So is it Koch or is it Koch? I think it's Koch Media. A lot of people would say I'm Koch on the brain but given that it's from Germany I'm going to go with the Koch thing, Koch Media. Anyway Finally getting round to opening this lovely five disc box set of Shaw Brothers movies. It did come in before Christmas, although it came in with the likes of the Shaw Scope uh, collection, the Disciples of Shaolin from Idiot Films. There was, a, there was a whole bunch of Shaw kind of came in at once there, which is fine. But I had also loads of uh, titles arriving from other labels and I kind of wanted to separate them a bit before I got stuck into it. So this box set I got off eBay. Now, all of these movies are kicking around eBay for on Blu-ray for about, let's say, 8 to 12, possibly 14 pounds each um, from Cock Media. And this popped up from a seller for around 25 pounds for the five movies. So... I kind of thought I had all the others. In fact, I probably had all of these in the basket. Um, but when I saw that the box set was going for that price, uh, I took it because I thought, what a saving. Anyway, the big box of Shaolin. I don't know what this, I should have translated this before I even started, right? What we have here are five classic, I was gonna say all Chang Jae movies, but all but one, all but one. Um, which is, again, okay, it's fine. Uh, it would have been interesting had they maybe picked the fifth one as a chang movie and released it as a chang box. Just saying. So here we have it. Quite nicely designed. Uh, and even as a pre-owned product, it is still in great nick and it was wrapped, of course. So inside here we have the thinner cases, the thin Blu-ray cases. Uh, all each with their own lovely color. Um, so yeah, I'm down to get into these and let's just go for it. It does say on the back, let me just quickly, over 200 minutes of bonus material. Um, English, subtitles, German and Chinese language options, which is great having that and the English subtitles, of course. Uh, and another reason that I, I went for them. Um, we have also got throughout the bonus material, trying to translate the German cinema versions of the movies, plus photo galleries and trailers. <sighs> Getting better at this. Okay, first up, I'll pop these out, give them a little fan. Now, thankfully, none of these are in the, um, the Shaw Scope set from Arrow Video. Um, and none of them have been released by 88 yet. That said, if they do, I mean, obviously I'm going to get them because I'm friggin' stupid. Okay, I'm going to start with the first one, this lovely pink cover. I really, do, I really, really do love these, these, uh, colored, different color covers. Very, very nice. Very, very thin. Not much protection there. So the first one is The Angry Guest. Now, the Angry Guest is directed by Shang Che. Um, it's the sequel to Duel of Fists. So you have David Chang and Ti Lung coming back, um, kind of reprising their roles. Now, I did watch this once, I think, on Amazon Prime, and I really, really liked it. Um, I do have Duel of Fists somewhere on DVD. But here we are. So yeah, David Chang, Ti Lung, uh, Yasuaki Karata, Chen Sing, and even Big Bolo pops up in there. Uh, it's also known as The Annoyed Guest and Kung Fu Killers. Kung Fu Killers. Very cliched, very random. The Annoyed Guest. <laughs> okay, 90 minutes long. Let's see. German and Chinese language options. Um, bonus uh, photo galleries, original trailer, and a trailer show. Okay, nay bad. 
I can't wait to get stuck into them actually because these are, apart from the angry guest, the others I have not seen. The Kid with the Golden Arm, I remember getting it on VHS from a rental store in Toronto well over 20 years ago, but the copy was so bad I had to take it back. I couldn't even watch it. So here we have it. The Kid with the Golden Arm, again directed by Chang Che, um, choreographed by... Oh, I forgot to mention, sorry. Sorry, The Angry Guest, choreographed, action and fight, sorry, choreographed by Lagar Lung and Tong Gai, who obviously worked together on many, many, many Chang Che movies. So The Kid with the Golden Arm, uh, yes, directed by Chang Che, choreographed by two of the Venoms and two of the stars of the movie, uh, Chang Sheng and Lu Feng. Um, yeah, uh, and also with them choreographing is Robert Tai who of course went on to make a name for himself as a director of a lot of Alexander Lowe Ray ninja movies and other wacky stuff, which I thoroughly enjoy, can't complain. Um, but yes, this is a cracker film. Uh, stars Philip Kwok, Lo Meng, Chang Sheng, Lu Feng, Johnny Wang Lung Wei, Wei Pei, Dick Wei, and of course Sun Qian as uh, Iron Feet Lad. I think that's his name in it, in one of the dubs anyway. Hi, there we go. Okay, next is, oh, I love that green. That is gorgeous. Four riders, absolutely beautiful, uh, beautiful covers. Yeah, really, really like this. So four riders, uh, again, directed by Chang Che, choreographed by Lagar Lung and Tong Gai. Um, Oh, starring David Chang, T. Lung, uh, Chen Kwon Tai, Yasuaki Karata, uh, Lily Lee, Wang Chung, and then you have appearances from, oh, sorry, got to back there. <laughs> you have appearances from the uh, likes of a young Laogar Wing, uh, Yen Shi Kwan, Yumu Ping, Fong Hakong, who were all kicking around. Shaws at that time as extras, stuntmen, uh, bit players, and choreographers, of course. This is also known as Hellfighters from the East and Strike for Revenge. So, fourth title in the box is um, The New Shaolin Boxers. Part of, I guess, part of Chang Che's Shaolin cycle of movies. Um, obviously it has Alexander Fuxing in there and that was around that time of Heroes 2, Disciples Shaolin, Shaolin Temple, things like that. So, uh, New Shaolin Boxers, directed by Chang Che, uh, choreographed by Xie Xing, uh, Chen, Xin, Chen Xin Yi, uh, Chen Ji Lang, starring Alexander Fuxing, um, Alexander Fusheng, Jenny Cheng, Johnny Wang Long Wei, uh, Lu Ti, Lung Yar Lian, Jimmy Luke, the director of Robotrix, who pops up through the most of these again as a as a bit player and extra. Um, Philip Kwok, Xian Mao, and then it's also known as lots of other titles such as Demon Fist of Kung Fu, Grandmaster of Death, Silly Kid, Mad Boy, and the Charlie Fat Charlie Fat Kid. Oh, but yeah, they're quite pretty wee covers. Again, they've all kind of got the same um, same extras throughout there. And then the final one of the box is not from shang Che, which is very, very odd. But I'm very excited to see it because, of course, I am a big fan of Wong Fei Hung movies. And this is one Wong Fei Hung movie that I really didn't know about. So here we have The Master of Kung Fu directed by Hong Meng Hua. Uh, he's the director behind pretty much, I'm just looking at them there, pretty much every Shaw Brothers, early Shaw Brothers release from 88 films before they kind of started getting a wee bit more serious about the Shaw collection, um, such as Black Magic and Human Goddess, things like that. Uh, the majority of them. Um, yes, extras are still the same there. Uh, disc. I just show you and then I'll pop this lovely 
bright color out. So, uh, choreographed this time, choreographed by Yun Wu Ping and Yun Chung Yan. Stars Ku Feng as Wong Fei Hung, uh, Chen Ping, Lin Wei Chu, um, Hu, Hu Su Hung, the prolific actor Hu Su Hung, who you'd recognize more so from modern day uh, Hong Kong movies. And then you've got like extras in there like Fang Hakong, uh, Danny Chai, Brandy Yoon, Yoon Byo, Yoon, Chat, Yoon Yat Chor, Cory Yoon Kwai, um, and loads of familiar faces of course of these young stuntmen that were just getting their shit together and starting to uh, learn their trade in the film industry. Uh, also known as Death Kick and Wong Fei Hung. So there we go, that's the five movies that I now have to go and watch. Don't really have to, but I'm going to because of course I want to do a quality check um, and I'm excited to finally see them. Um, so yeah, I don't have anything to compare them to unfortunately, but um, I will of course break down exactly what is on each disc and just how good they look. See you soon. Okay, finally done watching the five movies included in this wonderful uh, Shaw Brothers box set from Germany. Um, I have to say quality, although they're not taken from a restoration, a 2K or a 4K restoration, like a lot of the other Shaw Brothers releases from 88 and Arrow have been of late, um, they still look amazing. They look incredible, full HD of course. Um, all of them give the option of Chinese language and English subtitles. The German language options uh, give you 5.1 and 2.0 uh, options, whereas the Chinese is only 2.0, which is fine. I mean, really. Uh, the extra features are all pretty much trailers and uh, photo galleries of, of stills and poster work and things like that. Um, some of them, I would say the likes of The Angry Guest, uh, new boxer or new shell and boxers and the master of kung fu they all open with a trailer or two but they're also available to, to click on in the menu um the kid with the golden arm though and four riders they seem to have been maybe perhaps later um blu-rays in the collection and formatted somewhat differently so kid with the golden arm offers two versions of the movie uh, the original version that comes in at 1 hour and 25 and then you've got the German cinema release which is in German language only runs at 1 hour 17. Then with the four riders you've got the original um, complete version running at 1 hour 49 minutes with obviously in Chinese and English subtitle options and then you've got the German cinematic release with his, which is only with German language option um, running for 1 hour and 29. So there's a good 20 minutes off that one um, also. But yeah, it's, um, it's do you know what, to be honest, for the price I paid for it, the quality of the movies and all the movies are friggin' great. I mean, it was wonderful finally getting to see some of them. Um, I, I have to say it's a five star set for me, really. I will keep going back to this. The quality was amazing. The menus are, are nice. They're just... They're simple, they just look um, kind of like what you're seeing on the front cover of the Blu-rays. But for 25 quid to have five amazing Shaw Brothers movies on Blu-ray uh, with Chinese language options and English subtitle options is an absolute win for me. So there we go. Uh, check out Amazon.de, Amazon Germany, because it is on there. I'm. I'm not too sure how much, but I think when I did look, it was a similar kind of price. So you could go on there and have a wee look. They do post to the UK because I get quite a lot from them. Anyway, that's uh, another one down, Ugh, thankfully. Only a few left in this pile. There's still more to come. Obviously, there's more pre-orders from uh, a lot of UK distributors on the way. Um, and then next time I am going to take a look. I have one more at the minute one more movie from French label Spectrum Films uh, and that is Dragon Fighter with um, Michiko Nishiwaki. Uh, I get to take a wee look at that uh, which I'm really looking forward to because I have not yet seen it um, and after that there's a few more exciting titles on the way. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell and do all that. Head over to InvincibleAsia.com for full reviews on as many movies as I could possibly get to at the moment. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see certain things that I just cannot put in the video. Anyway, until next time, enjoy your Kung Fu and I'll see you soon. Thank you.